many of the space science missions have all, well, some of these sensors. Very few have all, in fact, none have all six that we're, we're flying. And what was unique about MMS is they are integrated into one suite together. And the importance of that is the very fine time resolution that MMS uh, attempts to achieve because the reconnection event, the re so-called diffusion region, goes by very quickly. Uh, and so we felt it was necessary to meld them together into six interacting sensors so that we knew the precise timing of the measurements from one to the next. Uh, you might think that time is something that you easily know. Uh, if you work on space science missions, you soon find out that time is one of the things you really don't know. <laughs> and you have to work very hard on a, a making sure that you know the precise time and, and frequency components in the fields area and how they're related to the timing measurement uh, in all the measurements we're going to make in the diffusion region. So since the diffusion region is of order uh, 10 kilometers or so in size, the electron diffusion region, and it's moving at 100 kilometers a second, it goes by us in a tenth of a second, which is really one of the real challenges. But you know, the real hot, the real action place, the real reconnection region, uh, is therefore goes by us in a tenth of a second. And within that tenth of a second, there's a lot of structure as well. So we need to know precisely how all the, all the measurements of electric and magnetic fields, and as well, there's a timing constraint that we place on the particle instruments to make sure they go along with how fields uh, measures time, uh, that uh, make sure that we can correlate this spike with that event. And that's uh, uh, one of the real challenges and special things of MMS. I was uh, very interested in mathematics in high school and even younger, so that was very uh, 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 pointed in that direction. Uh, but I guess my, uh, I got started in that way in high school when an uh, influential teacher uh, introduced to me to the subject of, of relativity, actually Einstein's special relativity, and that was actually measuring the effects of electric and magnetic fields in moving coordinate systems. So it has come around three, 360 degrees to its relevance to, to MMS. And we do exactly this. We do what are called Lorentz transformations from one reference frame to another, uh, to the reference frame natural to the, to the plasma from what we are given, that is the reference frame attached to the spacecraft, uh, in exactly the way that Einstein predicted uh, in special relativity. And so uh, then that got me interested in that. And of course, many of us in, our, in the uh, Apollo generation uh, thought space was cool and a cool place to go. Uh, so you put all those together and we ended up here at MMS. So. Uh, I would say that uh, uh, in some ways, it's, uh, it, it, it comes naturally. Uh, you need to follow your curiosity uh, is, uh, is uh, the important thing. I think a lot of young people teaching undergraduates and uh, even younger uh, in my part of my teaching career, I, I think focus today on, um, on uh, a paying job, the economics part of job, which is important. I certainly don't know the question about it. but. Uh, I had a, uh, in college, I had a very, another influ influential professor who uh, uh, made a comment to me that stuck with me my life, uh, was that the key to happiness um, is to find something you're really interested in doing and then find somebody, swindle somebody into paying you to do it. <laughs> that is the, uh, so that is the, uh, uh, something I've tried to give to undergraduates, uh, that idea. That it's an important thing, but it's second. The first thing to find something you really like doing. Because when you like doing it, you'll do it well. And then people will recognize that. And uh, so other things will follow.